The cytospin flattens cells to be more easily visible under a microscope. The cytospin centrifuges cells onto microscope slides. The rotor is vacuum sealed and must be removed from the cytospin before opening in order to avoid damaging its spindle. To open the rotor, pull up on the rod in the center to release the seal, then remove the top. To reset the seal, make sure the plastic top is firmly in the base and push down the center rod. You can check that it's sealed by pulling on the blue handle. Once the seal is in place, you can put the rotor back on the spindle. Microscope slides must be specially prepared before being used in the cytospin. First, put the slide in the metal cassette with the frosted end opposite the hinge. Put a filter on top of the slide with an unused hole over the corresponding hole in the cassette. Used holes will have an indent around the side. Next, put the funnel on top of the filter so that it opens into the hole. Finally, lower and clasp the clamp on the cassette. Double check that all parts are aligned so that no parts of the holes cover each other. A 100 microliter sample of cells is pipetted into the funnel. Put the prepared slide into the rotor with the funnel side facing the center. Make sure every slide has another across from it in the rotor to balance the centrifuge. The metal cassette has a ridge that should fit under the edge of the slots in the rotor. Make sure that all the slides are able to move in place then put the top on the rotor, set the vacuum seal, and place the rotor in the centrifuge. For normal eukaryotic cells, ideal settings are 800 RPM for three minutes. When the machine is done spinning, a jingle will play. It's then safe to open the centrifuge and remove the rotor. When removing the slide from the casing, be sure to remove both the funnel then filter straight off to avoid damaging the cells.